if you look at Earth from outer space at night, it's lit up with yellow lights, especially in major cities. And while it's a pretty sight for thousands of miles, if you're in space, that is, they're also a major source of greenhouse gases. But there's a new technology that might be changing all of that. Malcolm Brabant reports from Copenhagen. It's the end of another short winter day and time to switch on the lights in the Danish capital. Scientists estimate that 20% of all the world's energy is spent on light, especially on illuminating towns and cities. Even in a technologically advanced country like Denmark, many of the street lamps are antiquated and energy inefficient. But this is a glimpse of how, in the future, our urban landscapes will look at night time. Light is triggered by the car moving towards the lamp post. Examples of the world's most advanced street lighting systems have been rigged up in an industrial park outside Copenhagen so that city planners can contrast and compare and choose the best for their municipalities. All of these are smart lampposts with Wi-Fi computer management systems. Most contain motion sensors. So-called luminaires containing LEDs have replaced traditional light bulbs. When you go from a traditional uh, lighting system to an LED system, you can save 50 percent. So you can actually have a really large amount of energy saving. If you do it in an intelligent way, so you actually manage each light uh, post, then you can take the, the rest of your energy consumption and save 50 percent of that. So you will have 75 or 80 percent uh, saving uh, of energy. Some of the most advanced lampposts in this laboratory could potentially do even better. These experimental systems are covered in solar panels and are designed to be completely energy self-sufficient. Denmark is short on sunshine during the long winter months and scientists want to see whether these lamps will function properly in the darker northern hemisphere. But by far the most popular systems are those with motion sensors which power up when people or vehicles approach. This laboratory is attracting interest from all over the world. So for the developing countries, it's enormous potential of energy saving because they need to focus to take down the to carbon footprint. Just to install the motion sensors and the LEDs give us a lot of savings. Copenhagen wants to be carbon neutral by the year 2025. And in order to attain that ambition, Denmark needs to change 200,000 lampposts by next year. Other cities and countries are in a similar position. And for them, this place is one-stop shopping. But for many people, being in the dark is a scary experience. In the future, will we inhabit a world that is gloomier and less secure? You can easily dim the light down to 20% or something like that when there's no activity. And the citizens are uh, feeling uh, really secure when they are coming and it's lighting up. The light poles are, are welcoming them when they are coming down the streets. So you will not live in a darker world, but you will live in a world where the light and the consumption is used for the right things. For potential buyers, the cost of replacing lighting systems is going to be enormous, but the savings in energy bills are instant. Malcolm Brabant, CCTV, Copenhagen.